Welcome back to Morning Trade Live. Let's focus on biotech, a sector that has lagged the market this year. Joining us now to discuss is Dr. Lindsay Rosenwald, Chair and CEO of Fortress Biotech. Dr. Rosenwald, thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Pleasure to have you. So you describe this as a biotech winter that is thawing. Before we get to why, tell us how we got to this bear market in the first place. Sure. So you had, you know, uh, a lot of confluence of bad events. First of all, you had incredible uh, uh, interest rates that were low for, for years and years and years. You know, there is the saying the Fed's supposed to take away the punch bowl when the party begins. Uh, they didn't. And so that brought a lot of money into the sector. Then you had the, the pandemic. You had the biotech and pharma industry, you know, really saving the day with all these new medicines and, and vaccines that that caused more irrational exuberance and uh, eventually end up with the greater fool theory. There was nobody left to buy. And then you were at such elevated heights that they really collapsed. All right. So really a perfect storm. How are you weathering this yeah. storm at Fortress? What are you doing to make sure you come out of it on top? So we were built for a storm and and uh, it's from many years as an investor in the business. Uh, so first of all, we have a revenue business that's very healthy in the dermatology space. We just had a major phase three readout that was very positive, which should be extremely bullish for, for our dermatology business. And then we're extraordinarily diversified in 17 clinical stage programs. What happens in biotech investing is the further out the revenue stream, the, the greater the risk of interest rate uh, volatility destroying the business. So we don't do early stage research. Everything we do is, is in clinical trials. And in fact, we expect to file for five approvals over about an 18 month uh, uh, period. So again, diversification, late stage commercial business, that's how we protect ourselves. And it's still really difficult, but we, we are in better shape, I think, hopefully than most. I'm just curious, what would you say is the biggest headwind right now? The biggest headwind is interest rates. You know, you can get 5% in, in uh, you know, short-term bank accounts and, and treasuries. Uh, investing for the long-term in biotech when, when the stocks look so bad, it takes an awful lot of discipline to, to, to counter the market. You know, there's the old saying, you got to buy when there's blood in the streets or, or uh, you know, buy when people are selling, sell when people are buying. It's easy to say. And I think if you went back and, and put all your money into biotech three years ago, you'd be wiped out. If you did the same thing today in three years, you'd probably make a fortune. But most people don't have that kind of uh, discipline. And so the hardest thing is just the track record of an almost three year, incredibly brutal bear market, especially in a market that's done pretty well outside of biotech. Yet, despite the fact that interest rates are high and could remain higher for longer, you're starting to see signs of thawing in this biotech winter. Where are you seeing those signs of life? So, first of all, there's been a lot of attrition. A lot of companies are no longer around. Uh, so hopefully the stronger ones are surviving. As good news comes into the market from, from different companies, from the you know, stocks, we went through a period where a company could put out good news and the stock price would still go down because sellers just took it as an opportunity to get out. Now, with good news, the stocks start to perform. So money follows performance, and, and that's kind of the hope. And that's sort of what a, a, a cyclical market always is, that once money starts to come back in, it feeds on itself. And, and these stocks are so low that there's an awful lot of upside. You know, you know you're at a bottom when the average life science company development stage is down 90, 95 percent from their highs if you take out their cash. Uh, but on the reverse, when they go up from the bottom, the, you know, the good ones go up 100 to fold. So that will start to bring money back into the sector. So when it comes to industry fundamentals, what's the key to a rebound or a bull market? What's going to drive the bull market? Yeah, sure. So again, uh, good data from late stage drugs, lots of mergers and acquisitions activity. You know, we have two great things for M&A in, in, the, in the biotech sector. Number one is big pharma, big biotech is sitting on about $6 trillion in dry powder that they have to use to acquire. Secondly, the Federal Trade Commission has really been horrible, not just in biotech and pharma, but you know, through all of industry, they try to block every merger. It's getting very hard for the really big 
drug companies, the really big biotechs, to, 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 to merge their way out of patent expirations. And so now they're going to have to start buying more and more single product, late stage drug, you know, biotech companies. So that's extraordinarily bullish. So just like we had a reverse, everything that could go wrong went wrong for three years. I bet you in the next three years, everything that can go right will go right. All right. So when it, it's a basically a survival of the fittest world in the biotech space, so less competition out there for for investors to put their money in. But when it comes to investors, what should they be considering when it comes to putting their money to work in biotech? Well, again, number one, look at all the stocks that really got beat up, uh, and then decide which ones are good. The good ones really have late stage drug candidates with good data in important markets, with important readouts, you know, uh, clinical trial results, potential M&A activity over the next 12 to, to 18 months. There's a lot of them out there. Buy a bunch of them, and, and uh, the winners will have a, a dramatic impact, I believe, on their portfolios because they're going to go up from incredibly low levels. We haven't seen levels this low since the early 90s. And uh, and nothing that ever lasted this long. So it's really uh, this is the time to be aggressive, if you ask me, and I am. And Dr. Rosenwald, just in terms of that M and A activity, should we expect to hear about a lot more of it, given the the current environment? Yes, yes, absolutely. There, there is probably a hundred billion dollars worth of patent expirations in the next ten years, uh, and maybe more. Uh, that revenue has to be replenished for the big drug companies, the big biotech companies. They can't invent their way out of it. They can't uh, uh, merge their way out of it. So that means they've got to acquire development stage companies with great programs uh, that can really impact the the sales decline from their expiring uh, products. All right, Dr. Lindsay Rosenwald, Chair and CEO of Fortress Biotech, appreciate you shedding some light on the space. Thanks so much. Thank you. Pleasure.